You know why elephants have such big ears? It's not for hearing better. It's actually how they cool down in the hot sun of Africa or India. Because as their body gets heated, all of this heat has somehow to get out. And the blood vessels in the ears are being cooled by the wind. So the hot blood goes to the ear, it's cooled down, and it goes back cooler. A bit like a radiator, you know, in a car or a motorbike works. Now, this is because when you're driving the car or on the bike, you're heating up because the motor is working. And this heat, if it goes up, 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 is dangerous. Our system, when it's working, heats up on a physical level, but also on an energy level. It's nearly like saying, you know, you've got the hot water and cold water taps, hot, cold, red, blue. Imagine our system is only getting red, 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 and there's no cooling. What will happen is you'll get to a situation physically where you overheat, but also energetically where you get overstressed and you get a bit more uh, tense and you get more irritable. Red energy is good. We need it. We work with it. But if there's too much, we have to balance it. So, if we have too much red in our system, we want to be able to cool it down a bit like the elephant with its ears, but we don't have those ears. But we do have a system called blue breathing. And blue breathing is actually a technique that we can use to cool down. You could say it's like a meditation. You could say it's like a slowing down process. But it's a very, very simple technique where you're breathing in blue, and breathing out a darker shade of blue. Now, of course, when you breathe in blue, I'm talking about blue energy. You know, when you look at a rainbow, it's not paint. When we say color, we think, you know, this is a white board. But when I talk about color, I'm talking about energy. I'm looking at a rainbow and I'm saying, wow, look at these different bands of electromagnetic frequencies. Now, if we're getting too much red, we're too close to what's called infrared. You know, you don't want to put your hand in the micro. Infrared and red for our system isn't very good. Therefore, we want to have a blue system of cooling and rebalancing. It's like you don't want to take a shower with 100 degrees. You might not want zero, but we learn to balance. And in our everyday life, with the stress, and we need to be there on time, and there's too many things to do, and we've got messages, and everything's happening at the same time, and we're in a traffic jam. All of these things heat our system on the energy level. So using the blue breathing technique is actually a lifesaver in the world we live today. I use it because it makes a difference. And try it. Now, if you're doing the blue breathing, Inside an ecology that you've prepared, it's even better. So these tips, they kind of go together. And if you're doing it in nature, it's even better. But you can even just come home, you know, put your feet without shoes in a bucket of water, cool down physically or take a shower. And then you do this blue breathing and you'll feel your system slows down. Your mind clears. Many of the things that you are angry about during the day just disappear. So that's a bit about the blue breathing. 